There is nothing like a day at the beach. All right, maybe this isn't a beach, and the kids won't be frolicking in the waves or building castles in the sand. But that doesn't mean that the kids can't have fun while learning about beaches and discovering a little something about Earth along the way. In the Beach Science Kit, the children explore sands, things you might find on a beach, and currents in a model ocean. They learn that Earth's surface changes naturally over time and that humans have an effect on the planet too. Into the bay or the ocean. In the first session, the kids learn that a beach is a place where land meets water and that beaches are covered with things like sand, stones, or mud. Beaches can be near the ocean, but they can also be by rivers, lakes, or ponds. In small groups, the children investigate the objects they find in these beach buckets. Then they sort everything based on where they think the things might have come from. Plants, animals, rocks, or humans. This isn't supposed to be here. At the end of the first session, during Make Sense, you demonstrate how sand is made using a jar and some hard candies. First, tell the children that the different colored candies represent the different types of things you can find on a beach. Then, let the children shake the jar like this, simulating wind and waves. In about a minute, they see how the candies turn into tiny, multicolored pieces like sand. This simple demonstration helps the kids understand that sand is actually made of the same things you find on a beach. Session two begins with the children making a list of what they notice and what they wonder about sand. Yes, that they are little rocks. They're little rocks. Then the children investigate samples of sands from four different beaches. They glue the sands to cards like this. By observing the sand samples with hand lenses, they can see how the sands are alike and different. In the next session, the children investigate these sands again. Working in pairs, they each complete their own My Sand Sheet by visiting four learning stations. They can visit them in any order, and each station's sign tells them what to do. They discover that the size, color, shape, and what sand is made of can be clues to the history of a beach. The session guide tells you exactly what you need to place at each station. In session four, the children learn about how trash dumped into the ocean can end up on a beach. Each group of four gets their own tub with about an inch of water in it, their ocean. Then, each group places a cup upside down in their ocean to represent an island. Each cup has a hole in the bottom to let the air out so that the cup stays in place. Then, each group places an ice cube in the corner of their ocean. The ice cube causes currents in the water, similar to ocean currents. The children draw maps of their ocean and island. Plan ahead to have ice cubes ready for this session. Each group chooses four spots to dump their trash. One spot must be next to the ice cube. Then, you place drops of food coloring, the trash, in those spots. Now, have you guys um, uh, chosen the spot where the trash is going to be? Could you please show it to me? Right there? So please mark on your map where the red trash is. It can get hectic if everyone is ready at once, but be patient. We recommend the leader stay in charge of the food coloring. Okay, here comes the ice cube. <laughs> Who would like to place it in one of the corners of the ocean? The children watch, track, and map where the trash moves and learn how ocean currents can spread trash far and wide. Beaches are everywhere even in your after-school program. Funding provided by Oracle, the Noyce Foundation, the S.D. Bechtel Jr. Foundation, the David and Lucille Packard Foundation, and the Stephen Bechtel Fund.